I don't know what day of the month it is, said Scrooge. I don't know how long I've been among the spirits. I don't know anything. I'm quite a baby. Never mind, I don't care. I'd rather be a baby. Hello, whoop, hello there. He was checked in his transports by the churches, ringing out the lustiest pearls he'd ever heard. Clash, clang, hammer, ding, dong, bell. Bell, ding, dong, hammer, clash, clang. Oh, glorious, glorious. Running to the window, he opened it and put out his head. No fog, no mist. Clear, bright, jovial, stirring, cold. Cold, pi piping for the blood to dance to. Golden sunlight, heavenly sky, sweet fresh air, merry bells. Oh, glorious, glorious. What's today, cried Scrooge, calling downward to a boy in Sunday clothes, who perhaps had loitered in to look about him. Eh? returned the boy, with all his might of wonder. What's today, my fine fellow, said Scrooge. Today, replied the boy, why, it's Christmas Day. He dressed himself all in his best, and at last got out onto the streets. The people were by this time pouring forth as he had seen them with the ghost of, of Christmas present. And walking with his hands behind him, Scrooge regarded everyone with a delighted smile. He looked so irresistibly pleasant, in a word that three or four good human fellows said, Good morning, sir, a Merry Christmas to you. And Scrooge said often afterwards that all of the blithe sounds that he'd ever heard, those were the blithest in his ears. A Merry Christmas, Bob, said Scrooge with an earnestness that could not be mistaken as he clapped him on the back. A merrier Christmas, Bob, my good fellow, that I have given you for many a year. I'll raise your salary and endeavour to assist your struggling family, and we will discuss your affairs this very afternoon over a Christmas bowl of smoking bishop. Bob, make up the fires and buy another coal scuttle before you dot another eye. Bob Cratchit. Scrooge was better than his words. He did it all, and indefinitely more. And to Tiny Tim, who did not die, he became a second father. He became as good as a friend, as good as a master, and as good as a man, as a good old city knew. Or any other good old city, town, or borough in the good old world. It was always said of him that he knew how to keep Christmas well, if any man alive possessed the knowledge. May that be truly said of us, and all of us. And so, as Tiny Tim observed, God bless us, everyone.